Hi, I'm Wanda from Melinda Craft and today we're going to show you how to make some cute corner pop-up cards using Scan and Cut Canvas. Now you can see here we fold them up as a rule and we put a ribbon around them when we're sending them off but this is what they look like when they're open. So we have a little area here to write on and we have some areas that you can embellish. So Paul is going to take you through the steps now so that show you exactly what you need to do using Scan and Cut Canvas. So let's get started. <music> Now we're going to be creating this card in Scan and Cut Canvas and there'll be a link to Scan and Cut Canvas below this video if you've never used it before. It's free so you just have to register for it. So the first thing we want to do is come over here to Basic and what we're going to do is select a square. This this shape here so I'll click on it and it appears over here. Okay now I'm going to resize this first of all. Okay so I'll come up to the Properties tab here and I'm going to change this to 8. Now remember with Scan and Cut you can make anything to any size you like. So this is 8 by 8 but you can make this card whatever you like. Okay so 8 by 8 and I'll close that up. Now there it is on my screen there. Now we need to put some scoring lines in and some cutting lines. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is put a line across the middle here. So we'll come up here to this option. It's the path tool. If I click on that what I can do now is I'll come over here somewhere in the middle. Don't, don't worry too much because we're going to be aligning these in a second. But just somewhere in the middle here and I'm going to click once just once with my mouse then I'm going to hold my shift key down on my keyboard so while you're holding down that shift key move across if you don't hold that shift key down notice it just does what it, what it wants but as soon as I hold that shift key down you can see it sort of clicks into place wherever it's closest so I want to hold that shift key down while I'm moving my mouse across so move it across and then when I get to the other end I'm just going to click once okay I can let go of the shift key now but I need to see how it's following me around again. I need to click again on that blue dot. So if I click one more time, then it stops following me around. Now what we need to do, while this is still hi highlighted, you can see it's got the marching ants around it, so it's still highlighted. We'll come up to Properties again. And this time we're going to choose a dashed line. See here we've got dash pattern. So th this is created, going to create our folding line. So if I click the drop down there, I'm going to select this one. Now it depends on your, really on your card stock what you're using as to what you select here but I tend to always go with this one. It seems to work pretty well but if you're having problems with it not looking good um, with your card stock when you're folding just try a different different dashed line here. Okay but I'm going to select that one. Okay awesome that's done I can close that. So there we go we've got that on the screen. Now we need to align this so that this is right in the center here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag to highlight everything. And then I'm coming, going to come up to edit and you can see you've got the align tools here. I'm going to align center first of all and then I'm going to come back up to edit Oops, align and this time middle. All right so you want to do both and that gets it right and centered perfectly. Now you can see everything's still selected so while it's still selected I'm going to right click with my mouse and select the group option. Right, and grouping allows us to move this now, everything together without it all coming out of alignment again. Okay, so that bit's done. Now the next step is to create a cutting line from the top here down to the middle. Okay, so I'm going to come up to the path tool again and click once. Then I'm going to come up to the top here, find the line. I mean you can zoom in, remember you can zoom in if you need help here to find out exactly where the top is. But you're just basically clicking on that line once with your mouse. And then again hold that shift key down. So you can move your mouse down. So I'm just moving the mouse down to about the middle here. And then I'm going to click once. I can let go of my shift key. And again I need to click again because it's following me around everywhere. So I'll click again on that blue dot. And that closes it. Okay so that's ready to go. So that's a cutting line done. Now I'm going to come down here, here and what we need to do is do another line from here down to here. This one's got to be a scoring line. So I'm going to come up to the path tool and click it. Come in here and I'm going to line it up so it's lined up with this one. I'm going to click once, somewhere in the middle here, about there. Hold my shift key down, come down to the bottom and I'm going to click on that line once. Let go of the shift key, click again to close it and that's done. Now this, this particular line needs to be a scoring line. So while it's still highlighted, I'm going to come up to the Properties tab, Dash Pattern and select that scoring line again. Okay, so that's done. Awesome. Now we need to center these, right? So what I'm going to do, I'll just bring the 
percentage down there so we can see it all on the screen. I'm going to click and drag to highlight everything. So I want the, this, this line from top to bottom to be right in the center of the square. So I'll come up to edit, align, and we'll go center. Okay, so that's lined them up beautifully. Okay, now what we want to do is group everything together again. So I'm going to click and drag to group. I always group things after I do this so that, you know, I can move the square around and everything stays together. So I'm going to right click and group. All right, so that's all grouped. See, I can move that around now and everything stays in place. Now we've got one more line we need to draw. So this one now, we come back up to the path tool and I'm going to click right in the center. Now you can see we've got a little dot happening here now, which is nice. That's telling us we're right in the center. I click once. I don't hold the shift key this time because if I hold the shift key, it's going to give me a straight line and I actually want a diagonal line here. So I'm going to come down to the end, click at the corner once and twice. Right now that's highlighted now. now. It may seem like your square is highlighted here because the dashed lines are coming around here, but it is your line that is highlighted at this point. So while it's highlighted, come up to properties, dash pattern, and we're going to select that dash line there again. All right, and that is done. All right, now we need to group everything together. So I'm going to highlight everything, click and drag with the mouse to highlight everything right click and group and that is done okay that is our template for our corner pop-up card so what i need to do now is just give it a name so i'm going to call it corner card or corner pop-up card whatever you like and now all we need to do is click the download button and you'll get this pop-up and you can download it to your pc so if you don't have a scan and cut to just do that you click on that and you can save it to your pc and then put it onto a usb um, otherwise, if you've got Scan and Cut 2 and you've got Wi-Fi set up, just click on the Scan and Cut Transfer and it'll transfer the file directly to your Scan and Cut. So that's what I've done there. Now there's just one more thing you want to do and I'll just click Close there first. Close that out. If you want to add embellishments like we have, we've, had, we've added little squares that fit on each of these um, smaller squares here. So what you need to do for that is just click on the square in the basic shapes over here and then just fit it to the size you want. So if you click from the corner, you can drag the, and make this square smaller. So it just depends on what size you're wanting here. So you might want something that looks like that, something a bit smaller, if you wish. I mean, it's really up to you how you want to do this. So I'm just going to do it, say, for about that size there. I like a little bit of edge, edging around it. So that's the perfect size for me. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. I'm going to delete this. Remember, we've already saved this, so it's OK for me to delete it. So I'm going to click on it and to press the delete key on my keyboard. So that's the size of my square that I want to use. So I'm going to save that as corner card square. And then download. And then I'm going to transfer it to my Scan and Cut again. Just download to your PC if you don't have a Scan and Cut 2. But I'm going to just transfer it directly to the machine and close that out. So that gets that ready. So now we've got the template done. We've got our little square embellishment piece done. And we're ready to go and cut this. So you cut your card and then you have to fold it. Now have the cut end here facing towards you. And just lift the card up and fold it in half along the... Uh, dashed line that we created and then we open that out and then we fold it this way so long ways now with this part here you want to fold it towards the back so that the fold is facing towards you and we do that so that this piece is going to come over here and be the bottom and this piece will fold in like that and that will create your card now we're not going to do anything to this card at this stage because we want to create our embellishments first but that's how you fold it. So I have my four pieces of uh, paper here that I've decided that I want to put on this card and I've embellished them first. Now I haven't put anything on this one because this is the square that we're going to be writing on. I'm just going to turn this around so that you can see better from your angle. Alright so that will go in here in this bottom square here and I don't need anything for this square because what's going to happen is the card will be folded like that so that piece there is where I will write now I need to take my top embellishments so I have one here and this one here you need to be careful with this one because we don't want to get 
any glue on this side of the, the square because we don't want any glue on here. This is, has to be remain free. So we make sure when we put this on that we only put glue on so that in that top section, in that top triangle section. Okay, so that's important because you, you need this to, to be free. All right, so I'll go and do that now and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so now it's time to put the front of the card on. So I have it all embellished here. And this is going to go behind this square here, this top square. This is your bottom square, okay, and that's going to fold in later. But we want to put this behind this top square. Now you'd think that you'd just close it and place it like that. But that's not how it goes at all. Okay, so we close the card and we take our embellishment and we turn it so that it lines up with the fold. Okay, and it faces that way not the other way. All right, so I'll put that on now and then I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so we have our front embellishment on. Now I open the card and now we just need to put the top of the bottom together. So I just put some glue. And what we do for that is we bring this piece here with that, that we're going to write on and we just line that up with the the fold, make sure it's all nicely, neatly joined. Okay. Right, and there we are. Now, to fold the card, we just put our finger behind this loose piece on the bottom of that triangle and fold that in, and then fold our card down. And we're just going to add a piece of ribbon around there. So there we are, our card is finished and don't they look great? Now, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Pinterest.